Yes, ever now we're doing a welcome to the preview for Manchester City versus Nottingham Forest. We, of course, come into this game five wins from five in the Premier League, sat comfortably top of the league. We're in the middle of quite a busy schedule at the moment. Five games within 14 days. This is game number three of the five. And look, we're ploughing through it. We're winning games. Let's continue. So, of course, the last game at the Etihad against Nottingham Forest was early on last season. A 6-0 win at home. An Erling Haaland hat-trick. Obviously, the away leg didn't exactly go the same way. We drew 1-1. Erling Haaland missed a sitter. God, I remember it. However, look, as we've seen last season, Forest, two very different teams home and away. Very different teams. And I uh, expect that to be the same this season. It'd be absolutely pointless me talking about Manchester City's head-to-head -head record with Forest or even any games before last season because the last time we played Forest before last season in the same league was in the Championship. However, I will talk about it because we beat them 3-0 up Main Road that season and we won the league that season with 99 points. Of course, I'll talk about it. So as you may have heard, Pep Guardiola has been talking about his excitement for today's game against Nottingham Forest, how difficult it's going to be with their two Champions League trophies. Yeah, and look, I love Pep Guardiola to pieces. I think you all know I do, but there is absolutely no chance that Forest two European titles from 1970s is going to have any impact on Morgan Gibbs White performance tomorrow. It's, it's just not happening. Speaking of Forest though, in European Cups, champions of Europe, we'll never sing now. What are you going to sing to us this season? Hey, come on, bring it. We know what we are. We know what we are. Champions of Europe. We know what we are. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's talk about our players. Julian Alvarez is playing better than I've ever seen him play in a Man City shirt. He is unbelievable at the moment. Like Pep said a couple of weeks ago, he is undroppable. You know, I said it in a TikTok yesterday. If you want gold, call Lillian Howard. If you want assists, call Kevin De Bruyne. If you want both, call Julian Alvarez because he is the man. Jeremy Doku, Jezza, Dox, whatever he wants to be called, obviously set the world alight with his last Premier League performance against West Ham. And look, I'm expecting the same against tomorrow. Mateus Nunes had his first Manchester City start midweek. I thought he was, he was all right. He was all right. He weren't amazing. He didn't play bad. He was okay. Another player that played all right while he was on the pitch was Bernardo Silva. And that leads me on to Manchester City's injury news. You know, Bernardo! Like, look, let's tone it down because, look, he's injured. He is out. It's not as bad as we first expected, though. Only about two weeks. Look, fingers crossed he's back for that Arsenal away game. However, look, we can tone it back up because Jack is back. He was back in training on Wednesday. He's back in contention to play. I don't think he'll start. You know, he's only had a few training sessions. He spent a little bit of time out injured. He probably won't start, but minutes tomorrow, it's likely. Look, Kovacic is getting there, but he won't be ready for tomorrow. And Stones and Kev are both still out. There you go. That's our injury. Nottingham Forest, only noticeable absences will be Danilo, the Brazilian midfielder. And Serge Aurier, the former Spurs right-back. Speaking of former Spurs right-backs, another former Spurs right-back will captain us out tomorrow in my lineup prediction. See, I'll, I'll get good at this. Uh, come on. Edison, in between the sticks, obviously our game after this is Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. I think Ortega will play then. Edison will play tomorrow. Next up, Kyle Walker, as I said, I think will be captain. He's someone that I thought should have been resting midweek. He needs a rest, but tomorrow he can't. <laughs> All right, he can't. I think the rest of the defence will be Diaz, Akanji and Gavardio. My reason for Akanji and Gavardio was because that they were the two players that were resting midweek. Sergio Gomez and Nathan Rudhull Ake came in for them too. So look, I wouldn't mind Rude playing. I wouldn't mind Rudhull it playing, but um, yeah, I think it'd be them two back. In the midfield, can we talk about him, Rodri? Obviously, he's going to start against someone else that I thought probably should have had a rest midweek, but, you know, tomorrow he can't. <laughs> and once again, I'm getting sick of having this conversation. Who's going to play alongside him? Kovacic is out. Will Nunes start again? I don't know because his game midweek, you know, we didn't set the world alight. Calvin Phillips. Is there any point in me saying this? Because, look, if I had to choose, I'd have Calvin. I've said this week in, week out. It never happens and it won't happen. So, therefore, I'm going to go a little bit different. I'm going to say Rico Lewis. I actually do think he'll start. He's not had a start since Burnley. I thought he played quite well that game as well. I don't know if this lineup actually makes sense, though, because if Rico was playing in a full light, he would have dropped one of the defenders and Rico would have been in defence and midfield. But he plays a lot in midfield anyway, so why not I'll go with Rico? I can't see New well, I can't see Nunes playing. He probably will, but I think I prefer Rico. And I'd like Calvin, but. You know, I'd, I'd also like a million pounds. It ain't that me. And look ahead of them with the injuries we've got. The rest of the team speaks for itself. Doku, Phil, Alvarez and Howland. Who else is going to play? You know, Grealish ain't 100% yet. Maybe Oscar Bob, but I can't see it. will come off the bench. But we've got no other attacking options, do we? So, yeah, it'll be them four. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. As I said, we're top of the league. Two teams that are chasing us, of course. Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur. And them two play each other. Big game, North London Derby. That's the day afterwards. They play on a Sunday. Uh, that's where they're at two o'clock kickoff as well, aren't they? So yeah, that one will be interesting. I don't know who'd rather win, to be honest. I don't really care. We'll win the league. Anyway, uh, I think rather Spurs, though. But yeah, I'll leave it there. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. The match day vlog will, of course, be out uh, tomorrow after the game on the YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. 
and uh, go follow me on Instagram, go follow me on TikTok. Go, just do everything, man. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Nice one.